welcome to today's that is 12th of December's Gauri Blessing. Constantly happy, constantly beyond the joy of five senses. Imagine that kind of feeling. Always feeling as if you are attaining some divinity within yourself whenever you are doing this form of seva. What am I talking about? We are talking about doing seva through your thoughts or serving other human beings through your thoughts, through your words and through your actions. Not just words. Even your behavior, even the way you act, the way you behave, the way you treat people also decides what is going to be your state of mind right now. So God says you can have an instant fruit of gratification. Instant fruit of gratification right now is still by the way you talk, by the way you behave with people. So let's go ahead and let's understand how to remain constantly healthy, wealthy and prosperous. God says may you be constantly healthy in your mind and intellect by eating the instant and practical fruit of the accurate service you do. Instant. Why instant? Because we say generally in Kali Yuga, everything which you are doing right now, anything you do wrong, instantly you will feel the effect of because first of all, your mind, that means our mind, becomes impure and we feel impure within us. Think about a thought of greed. Think about a thought of hatred. And immediately you will feel low in your mood. Why is that happening? That's what we learn in Brahma Kumari. That means we are very vulnerable to our own thoughts first. Forget about what you are thinking about others. Forget about what you are going to do to others. You are first going to do it to yourself, to your own mind. So God then says, if the service you do is Yoga Yukta and accurate. Yoga Yukta means in connection with God. That means using Godly powers, Godly virtues and then you are doing the service and you are doing it accurately without any kind of judgment, without any need or desire of name and fame, without wanting to come forward and becoming somebody who is higher or above somebody else, then the fruit of that service is that you experience happiness, super sensuous joy, a joy which is filled by the mind and the intellect, that means the complete soul. It is not something which is felt by your five senses but by you the soul and being double light that means you feel lighter in your mind and also lighter with your connection with God when you are meditating you feel that he's also loving you you also definitely experience one or another of the father's virtues as a practical and instant fruit see God father is an infinite light of love infinite light of kindness warmth mercy when we do the service, Godly service, with it through our thoughts, pure thoughts, pure words and pure actions, automatically we have divinity of God coming within us. We have His patience, His tolerance, His sweetness, His kindness, His mercy and many infinite qualities automatically get generated within us. That means we receive those qualities from Him. God then says, those who eat instant fruit remain constantly healthy in their minds and intellects. Why? Because when you're serving somebody, you're helping somebody out with your virtues, God-given gift of virtues, automatically those souls are content and they're blessing you. And that blessing which you receive makes your mind and intellect very healthy, makes your mind and intellect very, very light. If you are weak, then you should remain, if you are weak, then you should understand that you are not eating fresh instant fruit. That means what we are supposed to think, talk and act right now, we are not doing it in godly way. We are not doing it with, with godly virtues, nor are we doing it with godly powers. And that's where if you are doing it in a very simplistic way, or what worldly way we think, that means we are using very normal ways what the world uses, getting angry at things, and situations on people, getting frustrated, getting irritated, getting jealous about others' progress, then our response, our thoughts and our actions are going to be very evil. And when it's evil, automatically the fruit of happiness and super sensuous joy is gone. We are the ones who create it, we are the ones who destroy it with our own thinking. So God then says, if you are weak, that means you are not able to think your thoughts, you are not able to speak purely and if you are not able to act purely, automatically you are weak. Then you should understand that you are not eating 
fresh instant fruit automatically the soul that means the mind intellect within the soul is going to get weaker and weaker that's where depression and anxiety such things take over if you're weak then you should understand that you are not eating fresh instant fruit instant and practical fruit makes you healthy and this is why your slogan is ever healthy ever wealthy and ever happy ever healthy how thinking good thoughts pure thoughts divine thoughts ever wealthy how when we are enacting with godly knowledge automatically the soul is getting wealthy with knowledge knowledge is wealth and then with those thoughts with those powers when you enact or you act in this world automatically the physical wealth also comes to you and ever happy how because we are sending out happiness using pure divine words to make people happy it doesn't take a lot of money to make anybody happy your words can make people happy that's why it is mentioned generally that sticks and stones break no bones but words they can so that's why your words are generated first before you think about anything when you're thinking something automatically that gets converted into words and then it gets converted into actions so your words are in between thoughts then words and then automatically the actions so what is more important your thoughts your words or your actions think about it where is the seed the seed is the thoughts and then comes the words and then comes the actions so what if we take care of our thoughts automatically everything else will be taken care of how do you become ever healthy ever wealthy and ever happy is what you learn in brahma kumaris and that's where the complete divine knowledge is given to you for free do go ahead do learn this beautiful knowledge at brahma kumaris center with this om shanti